where we left off. We shift stone, smelting to do. I think I'm gonna go check and see what. See if I got anything in my iron farm. To trade. To repair my tools. Oh, yeah. That's what we like to see. Dude ready yet? Probably not. Like, I don't understand what he's doing. He does not like me for some reason. He won't trade me glowstone anymore. right there it's pretty funny Just a stack of stairs. Good lord, man. Load in. Struggling. Okay. Please load it. Load in, man. My stomach. Build like this.
game always struggles to load in version. What the hell? Didn't mean to do that. Goodness, let's see. What am I doing? It's not what I need to do. Oops. Shouldn't have the cold a little bit in real life. <laughs> I don't know why I said in real life you uh, can't get cold in Minecraft. I guess you te technically you can. In the powdered snow. I'm gonna go back home and put some more cobblestone in. I gotta get freaking poop. Oh my goodness. I've been trying to. I thought it was a cramp at first, but. <laughs> I've been getting freaking poop.
I'm struggling. Mm. That is painful. Gosh, dog. Be right back. person crawled out of me, dude. Feel exponentially better. Reset the phantoms if we got any. <laughs> Feels much better. That freaking was churning, dude. That coffee I chugged this morning <laughs> hit me all at once.
Wow.
swap out. So a couple of cobblestone, a couple of these. Just that with that. Leave me alone, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
upstairs slab right stair that would be here I'm gonna be a little confused there for a second Okay, we need to get more stone. That's okay. Why though? I need to stay away. Look at this dude. get some let's fill our inventory up with cobblestone I'm gonna throw some stuff away in this corner real quick oh, uh, let's go back to, let's grab some let's grab some of This two that we have in here, and then the rest of this, we'll go pick this up to this. Darn it.
thinking maybe at like the the 30 yard line we'll put it up for this side Stone, like the solid block. Let's bring it back home again. Yeah, oh yeah. Um
Yo, yo, what's good? Did that, when did you chat that? I don't know. Hopefully I didn't miss it. I am just digging up a storm and building and whatnot. had half it dug out but I'm working on it trying to switch it up keep myself entertained with it I don't want to get burnt out on it so I'm trying to get like the the seating done on the one side seeds maybe collect some of this appreciate it Just trying my best <laughs> I got a beacon I don't know if you can see it no you can't but I got a beacon over there set up I've got another one I'm going to set up on the opposite end. And I plan to get two more to put on the sides. And I'm going to try my best to cover the whole field. I might need to get uh, four more. Because that only goes like the. Was it a little bit past the 10? So I'm gonna, I might need to get four more. We'll see. Yeah, the wither fight was easy because I used the trick uh, in the end. So that was like, I didn't have to do anything basically, but hit him a couple times. Yeah. I need to fight him where he can actually damage some chickens or something so I can get a bunch of wither roses. I might try to make a wither farm one of these days. See if 
take a lot of time though. I'm at the point really like I shouldn't die unless I do something stupid. Which is totally possible with me. Yeah, I need to get a chicken farm going for that. I can I can get like an auto one where it picks up the eggs for me. That's what I need to do. But in the end, you can't do that in the end. I tried it, and I'm like, oh, this dude can't even damage anything at all. That's how good that trick is. <laughs> He's totally stuck in there. Yeah, I probably won't have too many. I'll have like 15 chickens or something. Well, I swear the chickens live somehow. I did it. I had like eight chickens, and they lived. No wither roses. In the end, so I'm, uh, I don't know what happened. Yeah, hundred percent. That's what I was like. What? They were so maybe maybe that's what I did wrong. But not all of them were. So even the baby ones didn't die. Somebody said that you need a po potion of poison them, which would probably be overkill, but it would probably work better that way. Right, yeah. Flash potion. All right, what am I doing here? Do one, two, three, four, five. This is my way up for now, but I can. I'm gonna have to. Uh, hmm. Well, I hope you get a good spawn. Luckily, I did. I got a good spawn. <coughs> I got some of this on me. Um, Wasteland, Nether Wasteland, isn't that what it's called? When there's like nothing but Netherrack. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Let's see, that's one, two, three. We'll go four, five, six, seven. That's what we'll, we'll do here. Oops. Kind of caught up to it, but we're probably going to have to go up another five and then do the wall. It's going to be massive, dude. Holy shit. Oh, my goodness. I can see the completion of this. I'm getting giddy. Even though I'm way, ways away from it.
shit. I think I'm only gonna do like seating on the two sides, and then on here I'm gonna have like a. It might have some seating in it, but it, it'll have basically like a long looking castle wall, Great Wall of China looking thing on the back of the end zones. And then I can put like logos or something on the the wall because it's going to be so massive. We'll see. What's up, Creeper? Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know you. I was kind of far away from you, but it's all right. Um, I've got Fortune 3, Efficiency 5, and Breaking 3 and Mending on the pickaxe. Got that on the shovel. Just a normal axe, and my, I love my sword. I don't like knockback, but it's on there. But the sword is pretty good. I can deal with that. I think I can get sharpness 5 though. I should probably try to do that. I need feather falling on my boots still. And I need some. I think I'd rather have respiration. If I can have aqua affinity and respiration, that'd be cool, but I'm not sure if I can. I'll have to test it out. I don't remember that much that well. That might be a good idea. I didn't even know you could do that. Good looking out. It's hard to remember everything in Minecraft. That's why it's pretty cool when people come in here and kind of give you, let you know stuff, you know? There's so much in this, I'm like, I can't remember it all half the time. Alright. What is that above me? Something's creeping up there. I don't know what it is. Whatever it was, it, it's gone now. Is it gone? Was it powder? Yep. Darn it. <laughs> okay, chill. Literally chill. <laughs> chill. Whatever it was, it's gone now, so I ain't worried about it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna go put some stuff up actually.
check and see if I can place this down anywhere. Yeah, and then when you take a break for a while, I think like there was one. I didn't play Minecraft for like a whole year one time, and they added a bunch of new stuff. Like back when they added Netherite or whatever. I didn't even know that was a thing for the longest. Because I took a break prior to it for a while. Not like I didn't like Minecraft, so I just didn't play for some reason. Something, I guess other games were coming out type thing. It had my attention. Minecraft's the goat, though, dude. For me. It's all it's always there. I can always go back to it. It's so fun. Minecraft takes a backseat sometimes, but it don't stay there. <laughs> Alright, I can place stuff here. That's good. There's some of these blocks I got. Yeah, that re it has the replay factor. Like, if I died in this world, it would... I would be sad, but I could easily I could just start a new one up right back behind it. <laughs> yeah. Your only limit is your imagination really. People say the uh, Minecraft phase, like two weeks or whatever. I'm like, I don't get that because it takes me a lot longer than two weeks to get bored with it. <laughs> Teach their own, I guess. Okay, I need two gap right here. Yeah, but I guarantee you people that half the, well, more than half the people saying that, they probably fight the ender dragon and they quit. Like, they're not, they don't play anymore type thing. Or they build a house real quick, get a farm going, kill the ender dragon, and then that's what they mean by the two weeks. But I don't know. I don't get that. I've never played Minecraft for just two weeks when I started a world. Like, this one's, I, pro I probably played more in just, like, time played yeah, almost five days of real, like, just real time, so you can't, that's m definitely more than a week played. I almost have a week played of just uh, game time. So that's got to be over. I don't remember when I started this world, like, mm, I guess technically when I got my computer. Whatever that was. I think it was like a, a month ago or something. I don't know. Actually. So he, he followed me 16 days ago. Or no, raided me with that first raid 16 days ago. So at least six, two weeks ago. It's probably been three. Three or four. Yeah, speed running. I've never done that. <laughs> People are nuts. The world records they get. So even if you beat it in like an hour, that's impressive to me. These people beat it in like minutes. It's nuts. 
like watching it though, for sure. You ever sleep in the nether or the end when you first started playing? Like somebody told you to sleep and you did and you died. That happened to me once. It's a good way to learn. It's like the initiative. To be a Minecraft player, you gotta die while sleeping in the nether. <laughs> that was like 10 plus years ago. I remember my first Minecraft world I ever played. It was on a crappy laptop and it barely played the game, but I just wanted to see what it was like because it wasn't out on the Xbox yet. And I dug down and there was a mine. So at first I always thought that the, when you spawn that there was a mine underneath you. But that is not the case. Very funny. My first Minecraft memory. Yeah. <laughs> like real life or something they can like wrap you up wrap you up and strangle you That'd be nuts I wonder what the likelihood of them doing that in real life is actually what am I doing? I need that hit there, don't I? Yeah, what am I doing? Um. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but I wonder what the likelihood of, see, I guess squids are smaller, yeah, so they wouldn't, I guess, uh, how big do squids get? I know some are small, but some are pretty big, right? Oh, yeah, some are small and some are six feet feet seven inches long but including head and arms rarely exceed five meters <laughs> oh my gosh the biggest squid was 12 meters long oh my goodness that's nuts that's long that'd be very intimidating yeah so you could definitely probably get Messed up by a squid, I'd assume. I don't think they're very aggressive, though. I think they're, like, somewhat passive, if I'm thinking correctly. Yeah, you're done. You'd probably die of, uh... I like, drowning before you... They actually do anything to you. You'd 
you drown even faster because you're, uh, I guess, scared of your life at that point. Ah, you sucker. You sucker, you. Yeah, 100%. The zombies heard that explosion. They're like, let me get some. They don't know is I have the best armor you could possibly have. <laughs> The zombies were like, he's weak, he's weak. Nope. Yeah, you can teach it all all day, but you know you can only know if you're be calm when it happens. So, kind of a hard thing to put into practice. Uh, you got people in the military, for example. They train. They know exactly what to do but then when it happens they still they still get scared some people go a wall run away type thing so yeah but, you know but if you're being in a fire is different <laughs> you know kind of you're prepared as you can be and hopefully that's enough is what the hope is there I think it's a little less scary. If a fire were to break out, you got time to think about it, I, would, I believe. Unless it's like just a raging fire or some sort of arson situation. You got someone putting gasoline everywhere or something. Uh. What would be scary is if you freaking woke up in the middle of the night and there's fire outside your door or something. That'd be that'd be nuts. Then you're locked in your room and you just climb out the window, I reckon, unless you're on a secondary floor or second level floor. That'd be nuts. I always think about stuff like that. I'm like, how would I react? Hopefully I react this way. But that's not always the case. Like how you hope you would react isn't necessarily how you would. Yeah, 100%. Sadly. Let's see, I'm going to need some more stairs. Some more slabs. Uh... I don't need seeds. I should sleep real quick. Oh dang, did did it catch the building on fire? Do you have did you have a detector? Carbon monoxide detector? I actually need to get new ones of those, really. Mine kept beeping so I took the batteries out. Which isn't the smartest, but I 
Oh. That's good, I guess. At least. I guess if you want, if you, if somebody were to burn something, you'd rather them do it outside. So you have one now, or you still don't have one, even though it's a requirement? I got rid of my brick. Oh, I didn't do that. Darn. Okay. Uh, lay some slab down here. Run it all the way down. <laughs> that sounds about right. Is it? It's an apartment. You said. Is that what you said? Yeah, that, go figure. Pe like a people, apartment people who like the owners of it who take advantage of the their uh, I guess clients or whatever, whatever you would call them. They're pretty pieces of shit, and vice versa too. The some people take advantage of the uh, landlords or whatever. So they're also pieces of shit. So it's just like a single apartment. I thought they were all considered a complex. I guess maybe not. Like if it has one more than more than one apartment. I don't know. I've never lived in an apartment actually, which I've found that is rare. I feel like most people probably live in an apartment in their life. some point but I never have so I think I both my parents have I think and my wife has I have some friends who have I'm like Dang, I never have. I kind of got lucky. I um, lived with my parents for most of most of the time of my life so far, and then when I met my wife, she was in the process of buying a house already. So I'm like, dang, I got lucky. Very lucky. It's life sometimes too. You gotta get a little bit of luck in your life. Right? Lucky me, dude. I never had to go through the process of buying a house. Maybe one day. I've sold land, so I assume like selling something is similar to buying something, just like the opposite, real estate wise.
Was it you that um told me to use my offhand, or is that somebody else? That that's coming in clutch here and there. Yeah, heck yeah, dude. I've been using it while like mining and stuff, you know, like mine the block, place it down type thing. It's pretty legit. I used to play bedrock a lot, so I don't think you can do that in bedrock. You can? Oh. Well, next time I play that, I should try it in that too. Like you can freaking, I was testing it out, you can put different blocks or whatever. So then I could be like, dirt, stone, or how do you, how do I do that? Oh no, you can like, how, let's say, uh, pickaxe out. So you can place it, if you're trying to like build something, I guess, I don't know, but that's pretty cool. Pretty neat. I should have thought that out a little better. Yeah, I'll waste a couple of these. Um, yeah, I have an Xbox, so I, I played on that before I got my PC. They all, they have their pros and cons. It's like some farms work in only Java and some only work in Bedrock type of thing. A lot easier to get a trident in uh, Bedrock, I know that. But oh, that can be annoying sometimes too because there's so many drowned zombies in bedrock. So many. Um, a piston can can push furnaces in bedrock or in Java only. And what would be the use of that? Like some sort of automated furnace system or what? So much cobblestone I'm not picking up. What do I got in my inventory? I don't need zombie flesh. Let me go place some of this down. Oh, I don't need to place any down. Dang. Let me go put some stuff away. I need more of that uh, deep slate and whatnot.
You are correct. I should do that. <laughs> You're 100% correct, man. I need to get on that. Oops, I didn't need to put it there. See, that's why you gotta pay attention. So when you make a Discord, you can put within the Discord different, like, topics or whatever. And that's where you go to talk about the thing. Am I, am I right? Am I thinking correctly? Yeah, so like you can have, I make a Discord and then I put in, for example, like Minecraft or whatever. Or like sports, I like sports, maybe other people would too, type thing. Am I right on that? Cool. Just making sure I'm thinking right. Alright, I'm getting a little distracted with this build and forgetting what I need. Alright, I need to go home. Ugh. Leave the dirt here. Leave one stack of cobble here. I might mess around with that today. I need to save some of my VODs anyway to YouTube. Just in case. I've been behind, so they're probably going to expire soon. I need to make sure I remember to do that. I have staircases, I'm not even using them, but there's a skeleton in the way. So what does what does compress mean? Is it like lower quality or what? Ah. Uh. I should be using my pickaxe to get that out. So that. Thank you. I was about to forget, probably. <laughs> You're the best. Out of stairs. Uh, we'll go six. Bum, 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 I had three over there, but I could bring more, yeah, but I just don't feel like organizing the inventory right now. I did some adventuring and whatnot and digging. <coughs> mm, I should have slept. Eh, I'm going back. La da di da 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 da.
pet? Oh yeah, his name's Wild Bill. After the uh, Wild Western dude, cowboy type. I think I'm gonna get a gold one and an iron one, and probably also name them after some sort of cowboy or something. Yeah, the Enderman? Is that what you're talking about? He's been chilling there. I'm about to name tag that dude. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I can see him from here. No. I would have to turn the render distance up, probably. Even then, he might not show up. So one, two, three. This is the fifth row. Wait, is it the fifth row? One, two, three, four. This is the fifth row. This is going to carry up, and then it's going to get three. So that means like that. Three, it's a wall right here. Shoot.
place here. I'm gonna need to trade with the villagers soon to get my shovel repaired. some of this Shoot. Hardcore progress or I'd say villagers are really a good way to progress. Get levels and stuff. That's how you get mending. Once you get mending, there's a lot of ooh. Been bad. There's a lot of uh, stuff that opens up. You don't gotta make tools anymore. Which saves time. You gotta enchant things over and over. Honestly, just take your time, you know? Yeah, you just grind out some uh, diamonds, get a full set of diamond armor and then full set of diamond tools get mending on everything uh, and then uh, slowly try to get netherite on everything as well you can put the netherite on after you enchant so it's not like you gotta wait or anything like that Be good yeah, that'd be pretty, if you could do that first, that'd be a way to save on diamonds. I have uh, some guy over there, he has Feather Falling 1 boots, so I could just combine them over and over. Get Feather Falling. Or you could disenchant what they give you and enchant to something new. Yes, like if I ever do want to make new armor, I don't have to spend diamonds at all. So that's great. I need to get the guys that give tools. That'd be wild. Uh, trade. You can only trade. You're not allowed to get diamonds. You can only trade for them. <laughs> That'd be a fun challenge. Except for like making a enchantment table because I'm pretty sure that's the only way to get diamonds is by mining them I don't think you can trade for them
right? Wouldn't be that hard. Just, just time consuming, but not hard. That's why I plan on doing with this football field. I plan on putting like, I think I'm gonna put a masons. So eleven masons, maybe more. 11 masons at first and 11 uh, uh, tools. I forget which what they're called, the people with the tools. 11 of those. Blacksmith, is that what it's called? Because 11 because of uh, how many people are on the football team or on the field at once at least. I could do 53 of each. 53 man roster. <laughs> That'd be a lot of villagers running around. Like look how many I could fit on the field. <laughs> Put some beds down there. Locker room with some beds in it. Whoa, don't scare me like that. All you do is scare me. You can't even kill me in these days unless you're charged, which you're not. And even then, I don't know if it'd kill me. Hmm. That'd be a fun way to play. Only... Trade with villagers. That's it. How would you have to start? You'd probably have to start like with. You have to get some things. You have to like make rules. Like you can only stay in the overworld or something. Or I don't know. You can't go underneath Y level. Oops. Y level like. Whatever sea level is. You can't go below sea level. That'd be a fun way to play. I might do that one day. You just gave me an idea. Yeah. That'd be that'd be fun. I might do that for real. Right, like 100 Minecraft days, something like that. Maybe 75. I don't know, I'm not that good at something. I'm not that good at going fast. But I could try. Actually sounds super fun. I gotta keep that on my mind. I feel like okay, you can only cut trees. Other than that, you got then you gotta go find a village. You gotta get a Fletcher going. Well, not only and then you need gravel to make the fletching table, but you know what I mean. Maybe my initial rule is only stay in the overworld. Or not, not that. Only stay above Y level, C level, whatever it is. No mining. Can you? Well, you can make charcoal technically. Can't really trade for coal though. I wonder if that'd be possible. Or are there coal trades? Probably not.
Yeah, there could be. So you, you could just strictly adventure. Or find the best village with the best trading things in it. I wish I knew how to mod. That'd be cool. Cause then you could like make a world like that. And if you try to mine, like you could you could allow the mining of coal, but disable the mining of diamonds and and redstone. Cause I know there's a redstone trade. You can get redstone and lapis. So like if you go to try to mine it, it won't even let you or something like that. That'd be cool. that'd be kind of cool. Slowly but surely, okay. I'd like to carry this all the way through. Yeah, that's what I need to do is make them zombies on mine. Because that iron farm I have works really well. And uh, I just trade. That's where I get most of my levels and repair from is the iron. Which I need to do soon. <laughs> Hate these guys. But luckily, I'm hitting them. Not missing. I hate setting villager trading up, but I love trading with them. So it work it evens out in the end. It's so fun to trade. the chicken but I have to I guess dang wouldn't let me oh I don't have to kill the chicken I'm not gonna the dude was just kind of hitting me there whoa rapid fire torch alright I'm like running around with a chicken with my head cut off right now Oh, what do you got on? Oh my goodness. Dude, strong. What does he got? That could be like a really good bow. Probably not, but could be. Trash.
<laughs> nice. I'll block it off though. Three, this is where the wall goes. No, sir, that's not what we want. Seven thirty four, I got gotcha. you. You know, I have stairs, but we don't need them. Um, There he is, still on the side of the building. 
chilling. He's actually covered by from the rain there. I like him. I'm going to keep him there. No, no, no. That's not what I meant to do. Is he outside? He's probably in this spot up here. He has a spot he likes to stand. Yeah, there he is. Some more stone brick, or not stone, but this stuff. I'm gonna trade with these villagers and then call it quits because I gotta. I'm going to the zoo soon. Get me a free penguin for my son. So I'm gonna trade with these guys real quick and then call it quits. I'll probably uh, do a stream with no cam, just mess around with this build. But yeah. They're all, come on. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to. I need some more food. I'll probably go get some more carrots. Still doesn't want to trade me glowstone. That dude is being hard to trade with. No, I had my sword out. Not oh, that sucked. <laughs> oh well. Darn. Well, it's not close to broke or nothing, so I'm good. When I get back on, I'll be set up pretty well. I need to get a couple of these. Another one of these. Until next time, we shop. See you later. Peace out.